Hello everyone, welcome to the AI Artist channel. Uh, this is my very first video and uh, I would like to, to uh, welcome everyone. I plan to be uh, posting and documenting here a lot of things related with me journey, mostly in the beginning, and pretty much try to, to inform and, and, and help the community to grow. Um, as you see here on my screen as well, I created a Discord channel called, called AI Artists. I just opened right now, so I, I will put the link in the address uh, in, the, in the description down here. I hope you guys subscribe to this channel, uh, join up the, the, the Discord, come come to have a conversation and let's start growing. I want to help with the channel, I want to I want to help with the, with the Discord channel, I want to help here. So I decided to start. So uh, to start on the right pace, I decide to, to make a video related with something that I have I have been notice, noticing that people are not doing the best way. I, I'm not, not in any way I want to criticize anyone. I think everyone is doing is great. Everyone is showing what they're using, how they are making things happen with, the, uh, with AI. But uh, there is a right way of understanding uh, what your prompt, what your prompt makes. And, and I have seen that is two things that are very important. Um, you, so let me tell you first what is the wrong move, and, and I will do the process here of the right way of testing something, some effect that goes in your prompt. So the wrong way of, of, of doing it is test any prompt that you want to show to people what they do with stylize with different than zero. Uh, I don't know what your stylize is doing. I think I think the stylize uh, uh, that comes in as as default now in the version four is 500 or 200, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, something like that. So if you don't turn off your stylize, anything you are doing, you are doing together with Mid Journey. So you can be putting some text that Mid Journey is not even using, using some of them. They're mostly using uh, some of your. Some, your main theme, your main subject, but it's not using many of your tags, or they are using, uh, or they use all of your tags, but they use a lot of tags together. So for me, it was very common to see uh, some some guys very very doing very nice videos and, and teaching a lot, but one day sometimes they put a tag to show what happens, it doesn't happen, and it, the guy got a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, out of out, 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 out of knowing what what's happening. But what's happening is that that if you don't if you don't turn off your slides. You're doing styles together with with me journey, and you don't you don't have full control of your of your art. So if you're going to test something, you have to turn off the slides. Second thing that is very important: uh, if you're gonna test the difference between one result to another, you have to be use the same seed. If you go to a different same very same prompt, but if you don't go for the same seed, you can get a random stylize again and a random, 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 random base models. I will explain what's base models uh, on this video, and it's, it, it, everything will be everything will be very different again. Uh, of course, the result will be similar, but this will change. So the right way to process as an AI artist is to control your seed and to do adding effects there that that makes sense on the style that you are working on. Of course, uh, and I believe many people can work with Stylize 1000 now in Vision 4 if they want. And I can tell you, Stylize 1000, now that I have been researching, I know a lot about the, the prompts. I can tell you that if you lose Stylize 1000, I can tell that this, the, it's more than 10 different things that that, that Midjourney put on your prompt. I, I, I'm i almost sure about that. And uh, if you use Stylize on the way it comes, the, without without defining the slice tag, uh, Mid Journey is probably putting three or four to help you with the result that you seem to be looking for. So I think I think that you I think I think now I'm sure that that Mid Journey adds a style, also understanding what you want, also getting some intelligence on this as well. But let's get the control. So what I was thinking about here, what to do here is like this. Um, I'm gonna be uh, creating uh, first. Let's say that I'm going to work with photography uh, or, or, or a face. And so I would start, let's go here to my to my talk here. So I would start with something very, I, I start to test a process. I, I would start something like, like this. I put portrait of a woman. Let's just put portrait of a woman. And now here, I'm going to be adding two important things. First, stylize zero, okay? 
and I will be putting the aspect radio ratio to portray. I don't. I, I'm not adding any other tag. I just gave a subject for for for, for the 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 majority now. I want to I want to port of a woman. What he gonna give me now? What what he gonna give me? Now, I could put just a woman, but that would be two random pictures. Uh, what I what I just gave him told him now. Give me a face of a woman, and he will give me four faces. And I asked twice for you see that th those faces that he they are giving me is what I call with the slide zero is what I call base models and you understand that because when you're working when you start working on, on something that you want to create you're pretty much going to be doing a lot of slide zeros in, in sort of base models and, and this is important because you're going to see in the process here that sometimes some base models they, they're going to be replaced because you don't have that effect for that learn for that for that that model or that data set i don't know exactly what is but i but i can be sure that I have already had some tags that they replaced the model that I was using because of that tag. So uh, you're gonna see that in the process here as well. So um, I think I'm in fast mode. I'm not sure. I think I'm in fast mode. Just double, double, double check here because uh, I think uh, switch to fast mode. Yeah, I think I'm in fast mode. So it just it just takes some time. I just to ask again just the just to make sure that, I, that I'm now asking the maybe we'll do three times but put portrait of a woman portrait of a woman stylize zero AR spect radio two three and yeah, I made the version four. So let's just be sure that I okay. So okay. So let's let me since the we're gonna be starting the process here. Uh, let me talk about two things that are, that are very cool. First, here at this channel that I'm creating AI artists, I am pretty much uh, already documenting some stuff here. Resource library. I'm starting to adding stuff here. I put prompt workshop so we can prompt facts so we can start working together. So the idea of this channel, the the AI artist, and this channel here as well, is pretty much uh, we understand what is this process of creating art or creating original art using AI, and uh, and how to become good at this and how to become better at this. I am starting about this. I'm not a, I'm not a, by the way, I'm not an artist. I, I am not by a, I, 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 I was always one of my frustrations that I, I was not able to, 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 to draw or to, to paint too good. So, but I'm lover of art and I'm fascinated about what AI is, is, uh, is now creating for us the ability to, to do art. But I understand about art, I understand about camera, but sort of photography. So that's a good part. So uh, this channel here, pretty much want to share my, the journey. I want to share uh, the knowledge and I hope we can. Uh, by the way, I need help in the channel. I need help with, uh, with, with the community. Uh, I think we, can, we have a lot, a lot, a lot to, grow, to grow here. Uh, so let's go back here to the, okay, it's starting. Uh, you got... Can you guys hear me? I'm not sure. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Yeah. So don't switch. Don't switch. Okay. Now they are. Now they're. He's creating the 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 three pictures, uh, the three the the, the three uh, requests that I did. This started. It's not. It's not too fast right now. It's Saturday, uh, almost 5 p.m. So, but this is interesting because they're gonna give us um, different models. There are some models that I know already. Some raw models that I. That are very classic for portraits, um, but all of those models here are pretty much all of them are with zero effects. Um, but they are already um, from they already represent some effects on them, but uh, they are not. So we have much not options. I will explain this. If you see here, and it, it might happen. Let's see with three three chances in time, they will replace. We're gonna see exactly the same one on on them. Okay, so let's. I want to pick some with very different. Um, okay, let's look at this. Let's take this one here. This one here with a with a scarf. Let's take this one here, and I will call this one here our base image. And now everything we're gonna be testing, we're gonna be testing what happens with those ladies here. Okay. So this here going to be our base. And for this one here, I want to have the, the SIG number. 
Uh, to play in this process, let me close this other project I was doing here. To I will do like this. I will put here on Photoshop, and I'm gonna call this one here as base. Okay, my Photoshop. So uh, okay. So let's go back here now, uh, and let's get this seed here. And to prove to you guys that this is a base seed, there is one thing we can do, which is this. We get this again, portrait of a woman with slice, slice zero and aspect radio. Put here, imagine. Portrait of a woman, stylize, stylize zero. And I'm, and I'm gonna put this seed here. Look what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get this seed here. Seed. And if I ask this twice, this seed twice, what if guys think is gonna happen? The only thing that, that, that will prove me that I'm using a base that it doesn't change if I don't add anything is if those two come, come the same. And they will come the same. There is no way they don't come the same because I'm using stylized, stylized zero. So, uh, so anything else I put from now on, it's I will be sure about the effect. So that's good to, to start talking about a, a third point that's very important. Um, all the styles, all the all the all the technical stuff that you put, everything you put, they work different if they work with uh, with a uh, Oh, by the way, this this is not my seed. Okay, I, I almost scared. See, those are the ones I put C there because the other one was starting. The one that was like so. See here, the ones I put C, they are very. So uh, what I was saying. Let me continue what I was saying. Uh, you guys gonna notice as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna cover this first one here. First one here, I wanna teach you guys how to actually test uh, each of each of the terms uh, properly. And uh, they, 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 if you put two together, it's different than you put one separate, okay? So it doesn't, doesn't necessarily, is the sum of both. Sometimes two tags makes a very different result than, than, than would be just uh, one of them. I, I, I will explain more of this later. So here I get the ones with the two seeds I put in, you notice they are the very same. The, so I know exactly that's the one now is the base of what I'm working on. So. To show another change, that 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 to show another change, let me let's do something that is very interesting. So let's get here. Let's go imagine. Now anything I put here, I will know exactly what's happening because I have the base. So I will do the thing here. So let's put those leads here, and just for you guys to understand as well the limits of 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 each 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 of the. Okay, I put portrait of a woman, comma. I will put forties. 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s. Yeah, you can use 2000, 2000s. I, I, I will fill up all, all my, all my, 2010, 2020. So I'm getting from 40 to 2020, all the styles I have. I will put all of those files. By the way, I will create a spreadsheet later and I will put at the resource of that channel uh, all the, the effects of each of those, each of those, each of those tags. But right now I'm getting the very same base, base, base file that I have. And uh, I'm adding exactly i will know exactly what kind of change when i use that tag on one of my pictures uh does um that will be different than than than, than, than i use it so i got here the first one the 40s and i will and you're gonna see that's kind of the same models that are gonna be just changing the 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 the, the style of hair or the colors or the position cop image so hold on hold on, hold on. let's do it too fast this one here is 40s Let's let's go put in here on the 40s. Oh, I, I clicked the light room. I'm sorry. 40s. 50s. See, when, when I'm put here, you go already go seeing the evolution. 50. Let's get here the 60s. Wow, 6 is a big change, see? My cat wants to participate. <laughs> 50s. 
you see some of the oh okay we're gonna talk more about that uh in the 60s let's get here the 70s is ready seven seven is working on let's let's put here the date so we don't don't lose track so 190 40s oh i got a lot of pins here in my ears so it's uh it's ready 1960s okay now gets let's get the 70s 70s ready yeah 70s let's get the 80s 80s oops I didn't copy copy image 80s what is the 90s 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 oh my cat here 90s copy image so this is my cat uh, she likes to come to the table sometimes, so she's uh, my assistant. 90s. Uh, let's get here the 2000s. 2000s. Give me space here to her 2000s. Let's get here the 2010. Don't get scared, people. Hold on, didn't copy. Copy image 2010 and 2020s. Here we go. Okay what's happening here right now so let's go let's do like this let's get to to the beginning of the process here so you guys understand it perfectly so as you guys see uh we we we, we have a base model that we had zero filters okay if i get this base model and put the field of 40s that's what is going to happen okay so you see that there are some similarities uh, on the models, uh, they are. I would say they are two of them. They do have. They do have learned how to do the, the AI already learned how to do them on the 40s. Although two of them, it's a different model. You notice. So those two here, they do have the version on, on the 40s. Their their version of the 40s. This one for sure. This one here it seems so. But those two here doesn't have. You go to the 50s. Uh, if you notice, this one here pretty much have it. This one here is a very good one. You have the the, the very well learned already. The and the other the other those two here really don't don't go much well with this tag. So that's what I'm. That's one other important thing to say. Your the AI is learning uh, and it's getting more and more. By the way, that's what sometimes happens when you use certain tag. It will replace the model that you are using, and you're gonna start to use another model. So you understand that the model that that you are using originally don't have that tag. So tag of style, especially the one I'm using, they are very aggressive, and they do that. They replace models. Not all the tags are, does that because some tags are just about effect and not a style. But effects of style will make that happen. And then we're gonna classify that later in other videos better. So 50s, 60s, pretty much, pretty much this one here is still this, kind of the same. And uh, I think everyone has replaced it out. No, those two here, still very good. They're still very solid, the same as 60s. Now let's get here. Now I'm going to take notes. 70s, let's put the 70s up. You see the 70s. And I would say now in the 70s, this one has been replaced, right? Yeah, this one has been replaced, and this one here now got some somewhat similar. Um, let's now go here to the 80s. 
the 80s is crazy because in the 80s i think everyone was replacing so it's not it's so as you see it's not exactly an effect it's almost it, it is a style so they will get people phone style of that era so so if you start working with this lady here and now you put your tag in the in in, in your art you put the tag that no but i want this in 90s and uh, they will replace and and you see here for example there's some very drastic change the one in in the, in the top left totally changed a totally different model uh the they're all of them are totally different models so in the 80s they are totally different they got ladies from 80s different than what we have here even though i'm using the seed because they cannot replace they, they, they don't have learned how to change that seed to this so and now i'm pretty much evolving on this one look I, now the 80s is 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 the is is my version I'm developing here, and I am I have the version of those models now for the 90s. But don't worry, we're still the same seed. It's just the change that 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 that, that happened. So we have here now the 2000s. The 2000s now have something interesting. We have here now the 2000s. So they all. But, but remember, I'm using the seed here, okay? That's seed I'm using. So in the 2000, now have something interesting. This lady here, that in the beginning was being all, all the time replaced, during all the sports here was being replaced in the beginning. Now in 2000, she appears. Because the seed now, the AI learned to do already this one here in 2000, but didn't learn with anyone else. So they are using some of those here. But this one here, she can make on 2000. So understand that the model we are using then, some of them will have some a gap, and then we have. And by the way, if she's, she's, she's in 2000, she's probably gonna exist a very same one. Look this one here. This one here is amazing because I'm putting now on the 2010s, right? 2010s. I got almost the real one. This is just with a little 3D effects, the different. And I've got, got almost a real one of all of them. See? Those are the, the almost the real models that I use, was, was used, oh, I mean, those are the base. So you hear that I, that I have uh, the 80s and the 90s here, the, the, the it got, a, this tag's a little not learning well yet, but then I come here, I got pretty much the evolution. Although the top left is being a problem. The top left is being very random. Uh, so this top left lady here, although she starts very well in the beginning, in the late period here, this is a crap model to, to be using. So anyway, and then we go here for the 2020s. Um, and, uh, and, and and we have, hold on. I didn't go to the 2020s. Hold on, hold on, hold on. that little delete layer. Let's go here. That's my 2020s. I didn't save it. Cop image. Here we go. And now I'm having here the 2020s, uh, which is which is pretty much all the models besides this one here, which which by the way, this one here now is, is similar again to the to the whole engine. So, if I want to test what this tag makes with 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 something, all those age. That, that I put all those eras that, that I put or, or, on thing. That's the way of testing. Now I know exactly when when I put that tag, what what they're gonna change on my model. They're gonna they, they, they can change they can totally replace the model, or they're gonna do some change on the skin on the hair of my model to give the vibe of, of the era. Um, if I put this tag in the middle of another other, other tags with it stylizes the between, it's gonna be a crazy result. So, but now let's do something else here. That's not, I, I play with a, 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 a tag of style. Let's play with the tag of effect now. I, I will show you guys what can happen now if I use the same seed, but I'm gonna use two effects and I'll use two very similar effects. Uh, I'm gonna be using here this very same seed, okay? But instead of put a style tag, which change, which can, which is very strong, which is the style of the era that I was using. I will put here bright, okay? And I will put bright as one. And the other one that I'm gonna be put is, um, let's see, similar to bright. Let's put uh, vibrant colors. 
those two are very similar vibrant colors and 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 and, and bright okay so let's see the results is, by the way it's all similar the results uh, but but i want to show you what happens and what happens when we use both of them together um so i will get i will be getting all those that I, that i did here right now i'm going to be putting on a spreadsheet so you guys so you guys can can see later uh what's happening so observe now that uh they are pretty much working on on the on those models to as give exactly only that effect uh, on them separately uh you're gonna notice again that the ai doesn't have the the the, the exact it's not respecting exactly the model which is a little frustrating for me um uh, but is but you can see exactly what it does um so the important part is that if you want to understand what one of them makes we can look at the at the the ones that that there is this cap this one here is pretty much well kept between all between both of them and uh hold on just a second Okay, and I just got a mess. And uh, and uh, and you can see exactly what happened. So, the bright. So what bright makes is 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 add a lot of colors, bright colors to the tonalities of, of a picture. Um, to study what that that makes, what what this one makes here. Of course, we are they are replacing some of the models because again, uh, it's trying to understand. And one thing that they will understand now that I'm definitely not looking for a portrait when I use bright. Normally, when I use bright, they they will end up replacing me to to a painting very fast, and I will explain that in other videos as well. When they, they if you don't if you don't define what happens, so this one of the bright that that, that that I see I know I understand exactly what bright does now, and uh, the other one here is the the vibrant color. So you're gonna add a lot of vibrant colors. It's a pretty much, and that was my idea. It's a pretty much. A, upscale level of bright using vibrant colors so and that's what he's doing right now here they getting my he got in my raw picture and putting a lot of things although those two effects they are very they are very malleable depending on other things you are using together with them um and i and 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 and, and, and then i will be able to show this in another stage but i would like to understand now but right now you could see the raw effects of those two those two tags vibrant colors and bright okay so let's let me save here just for just for the sake of just the sake of of, of showing you guys um, because those models exist here as well so let's put here this one here hold on this one here is 2020s there is another one here that we put here so this one here is bright right now let me get this one here let's save this one says errors. So this one is the bright. Uh, if you see here the bright, I have one here which is the. I think that's the one. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's the one. So you can see here uh, pretty much uh, what happened with this lady in the top left is a good way of seeing what bright does. So that the, the the bottom the bottom right as well is good for to see. So what bright does? So I now I know now I know exactly what bright does because it's getting the same model and adding bright on it, okay? And the same way as well now I'm gonna get here the vibrant colors. Vibrant colors I'm gonna copy. Let's add it here. So. You might be thinking now, and what if I put both of them together? And that will be my, my, my final example for, for you guys. And that's what I said, that we're gonna have a sum of this happening. The models in the back might change again, but it will be a very inter inter interesting thing to show you guys. But this will be on the other on another advanced video that, that we're gonna be talking about. So let's get here now. Let's get a portrait. Uh, the the same seed that I keep want to keep working on. Let's go imagine. Put this here. I will put bright 
and vibrant colors. So let me tell you guys, it makes no difference the order of those tags. Um, the there is some difference that we make on the order of the prompt, of the prompt, especially when you're explaining the subject. But on effects, it makes no change. I will show you guys. By the way, I will put here one bright and vibrant colors, and I will put another one vibrant colors and bright. You guys are gonna see that it's gonna be the very same Im image. Okay, just to just just to prove my point, or I will delete this video, not 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 start this channel anymore because I don't know anything. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, it, it will be it will be the, the very same result because I am using the the very same C. I'm using slide zero. Oh my God, that scared me. I use, I'm using slide zero for sure. And uh, I, I'm using the, 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 the two effects. Although they will sum each other. So if you are, if I can start spoiling for you guys, what's going to happen is that we're going to see this effect of the bright happening of giving this this bright light on, on, on the models adding some colors and then we're going to come with a with a with a with the vibrant colors in, on top of it so you see here as i said is the very same picture that 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 they're working on it's the very same scene so it's the very same picture and by the way i think it's the very same one that that, that was with vibrant colors just a little change. This 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 one at the top here is the very same. Good. So we can compare. So when I use the seed, it's good because I hope we hope they use the the, the on one of the things they're gonna be using the, the the same actress, same model, same base model. I would say same base model, not actress. So they are the very same. Uh, I, 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 they are with the very same effect on, on it. Um, I would just copy image here. And uh, you can see by, by the distance that they are pretty much the, the same thing. <laughs> They're doing this, the very same thing on, on, on them. And I will come here and I will paste here. So you see they are they, they, they are a little more they, they, they are they are they are a sum. Maybe I use a bad example because the vibrant will overlap totally the bright. But uh, in the, in some in some in, Depending on some results, you could see that the bright is working as well. Okay, let's see here, for example, on the on the on the face of this lady here, because it does have the bright here working together with the vibrant colors. This is the vibrant color only. This is the vibrant with bright. You see that the face is a little more bright. It does work together. The the, the, the in general, you see the tonalities because. The, the biggest change because they have she already have the vibrant so what what's happening now is getting the bright together so that's what i said it's going to be summing the two so the the pictures now are more bright you see that the, there there is more bright than it was just with vibrant colors but they are very similar filters for but that was just for the didactics here to show you guys so now we know some things here first we know we know exactly the change that the 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 different errors, the different ages making the picture, make making that in a model. So they can change the hair, change the position, they will pretty much put them on that error. We know that this can change the model that we are using if we put one of those dates and that model, the, and the AI, the data set don't have yet that model on that style. And we learned that, uh, that, uh, that um, the tags now I can really see effects using slide zero, and I really understand now what vibrant colors and bright does. Does I will do this? I will get this base model here, this base C. I will put it in a spreadsheet, and I will put at the at that channel for you guys see all, everything together. Uh, and well, I hope this video was good. I hope uh, more people that are testing uh, what each of the the tags does uh, use slide zero to test. Very important, and use the same seed to see the difference. I have done that a long, a long study about renders uh, uh, on pictures uh, yesterday. It took me hours to to, to understand all the all the, all the renders difference, and I had to do that. So that's how I I understand that I have to use the same seed and, and slide zero. Otherwise, I cannot understand what's happening. And I hope it helps. I hope this contributes to the community, and we start something very cool here. All of us AI artists. Bye bye.